Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a field located in western Kentucky where a brand new model year 2022 John Deere 1775 NT 60 foot wide 24 row 30 inch space corn planter is at work. This year, John Deere has upgraded the central fill commodity system tanks on the planter, and we're going to talk about the 1775 NT's production history, specifications, and price tag in this video, as well as climbing up in the cab of the 420 engine horsepower John Deere 9420R articulated four-wheel drive tractor that's operating this planter. We'll visit with my friend Matt and talk with him about what he likes in operating a big 24-row corn planter like this new model for 2022. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear these big machines at work. John Deere introduced the 1775 NT corn planter in model year 2015. This planter is available in three different sizes, a 12 row 30 inch spaced 30 foot wide model, a 16 row 30 inch spaced 40 foot wide model, and a 24 row 30 inch spaced 60 foot model. John Deere manufactures the 1775 NT corn planter in Moline, Illinois. The company introduced its popular CCS Central Fill Commodity Tanks in model year 2003. For the past 18 years, the planters like the 1775 NT have been equipped with two 50 bushel commodity tanks that allow the planter to carry 100 bushels of corn seed. The major change for the model year 2022 1775 NT 24-row corn planter is the central fill seed delivery system. The new planters now have two 65 bushel CCS tanks that have a squared off modern design that replace the previous 50 bushel tanks that had a capsulized look. The 1775 NT 24 row corn planter now has a seed carrying capacity increased to 130 bushels from the past 100 bushel size. Customers can order the 1775 NT with three different types of seed delivery systems in the row units. The first is a Maximerge 5, which is a chain-driven setup. The 24-row model that you see operating in this video is equipped with Maximerge 5. The second option is Maximerge 5E, which uses an electric drive system that eliminates the need for chains and hydraulics to deliver the seed. And the third system is an exact emerge, which allows the corn planter to travel up to 10 miles per hour. The 1775 NT 24-row model offers 21 degrees of flexibility on its wings. This allows the 60-foot planter to flex and follow the contour of the land. It can be ordered with an optional 600-gallon fertilizer tank, and according to JohnDeere.com, the list price for a model year 2022 24-row 1775 NT corn planter with the new 130 bushel CCS tank system is $240,945 for a base unit. The 1775 NT is equipped with marker arms. This is an arm that reaches out 30 feet wide and draws a line across the field. This farm uses the marker arm on the first boundary pass around the field so that the tractor can follow that line drawn by the marker arm on the next pass to keep everything equal. 
Once it has made two passes around the field, it uses GPS auto steer to drive back and forth without the markers. Now that you have a little bit more background on the 1775 NT corn planter, let's climb up in the cab of the John Deere 9420R tractor and we'll visit with my friend Matt to talk with him about operating the 60 foot wide corn planter. day for planting. Yeah, finally. Get some good weather. Get a nice view of you and those two other planters back there. Yeah. Getting some acres covered. Well, I know you haven't even been out a full week and you're getting close to being done. Yeah, we're probably, we'll be close to done tomorrow. I don't think we'll quite get it, but we'll be close. Well, that'll be seven days with one rain delay, so. Yeah. It's uh, six days in the field and nearly 11,000 acres in the ground. Yep. So you've got the new 1775 NT with the updated yep. commodity tank. How's the planter uh, working out? So far, so good. Uh, it's really, they haven't changed much uh, besides, like you said, the, the seat tanks. But uh, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. So good planters. We get, we get some uh, electrical issues on one of them, but uh, not, nothing major, I don't think. You know. Loose wires. I'm sure there's a lot to go through when you put these together and yeah. run them out in the field. So how do you like the new commodity tank? Is it giving you any more capacity? or? Well, I mean, we don't really fill them to capacity anyway. We just put in two 50-unit uh, boxes of corn and, and go. Uh, I mean, we could fill them, but most of the time our varieties work out with e an even number of boxes. And if you got a odd one or something, it's kind of a pain to split, you know, half and half in the in the planter. But so we just it's quicker and easier just to dump two boxes in, one on each side, and, and take sure. off. You've got a nice system with a loader tractor and the yeah. the pallet fork, just lift yeah. it up there, and, and it works less out. than a minute to Fertil fill it. Fertilizer works out too, where. Uh, we fill up with corn and fertilizer, and then we'll have to uh, fill up a fertilizer a second time to run the corn out. So two loads of fertilizer for one load of corn. It works out pretty close. So how many acres are you getting on a load of corn? Uh, around 230, give or take. Oh, that lets you run a few hours and acres yeah. without having to stop and fill up. And then uh, you've got the two 300 gallon saddle tanks up here on the front of the tractor with the starter fertilizer. Yeah. Uh, how many acres do you get with that? Uh, putting out five gallons to the acre, uh, we can get over 120 acres of fertilizer. Well, it's a, it's a good setup, and right now you're uh, in the cab of the 9420R. You've got the new 2022 planter on the back, but we won't see a 9R440 uh, with you in it until this fall. <laughs> well, I hope we get them by this fall. They're, uh, they, you know, they're backed up at the factory waiting on parts or something. They can't make them, so uh, they're a little behind. We'll get them sometime. Well, it'll be exciting to. Hopefully, by next spring, we'll see a 9R440 <laughs> yeah. and 
and the new uh, commodity tank on the 1775 working together. Yep. So you've got a total of uh, five planters running out here. We've yep. got one, hopefully everybody can see it over there, and another one there, and way across the field is a fourth one, and I think I can even see the fifth one up on the hill there. So how many acres a day um, with this many 60-foot planters running are you guys covering? Uh, on a good day, we could do 2,500. I mean, that's a, on a perfect day. You know, no, no moving, no road travel. Uh, you know, most of the time we're around, you know, 1,800 or 2,000 acres a day, something like that. That's getting a lot of corn in the ground, yeah. especially in a year like this where um, you started planting about a month after you normally finished. Yeah, so. we're about three weeks behind. So that's a good thing about having all this equipment. We can plant it all in six days. So what kind of hours are you putting in to get that many acres covered? Uh, we'll come in at seven in the morning. Uh, we'll meet up at our shop, which is right over there. Yep. We can uh, look out the front window here and see the, the home farm. We'll get there around seven. Uh, you know, I'll meet up there and then head to the field, uh, service everything, fill up the fuel, fix any breakdowns or whatever, and then uh, try to run by 8, 8.30. And, uh, we'll run to 11 or 12 at night usually. Pretty long day. It is a long day. But, but like I said, it's only for a week and then we're done. So. Right. <laughs> Everybody was antsy to get planning, and now I'm sure you're ready to take a break. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that one day it rained, we had a, a half a day to, to rest, so that, that was pretty nice. And then we were right back at it the next day. So technology-wise, there's a lot that makes the planning a lot easier um, than it used to be. Uh, we can see Matt's going to engage the tractor's auto steer here. And this will put the tractor and planter on another 60 foot pass. This also allows you to um, map the field and you're also working with the other tractors. We can kind of get a look at the whole map of yeah, that. Yeah, I can show you the full field here. That's uh, the three other tractors. There's one more down here. <laughs> this field's so big, the map doesn't show up the other tractors down south. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, this field, there's farm here is kind of cut up a lot. There's a lot of small fields and ditches and fence rows and waterways. So how many acres are you working on in this field? This one is uh, about a thousand. Well, that makes for a good running day of yeah. not having to move too, too much down the road or yep. to get to one spot to the next. Yeah, a lot of this ground through here is all connected, you know, just off the road or cut through a fence or whatever you know it's all pretty much connected one field to the next so i know we get this question every year you're using a big articulated four-wheel drive tractor to pull this planter and they'll say well you could put an 8r or a 7r on that yeah. uh, but i imagine this um you know you're running a little over five and a half miles per hour right there it gives you a nice ride good view yeah it's uh you know we when we got these planters, we brought them from the dealer with an 8R tractor. And you don't realize how nice this tractor is until you pull one with an 8R. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of planter for that size tractor, really. And plus, the fertilizer, this, this size tractor is really good for, for packing that weight around. And this tractor gets a lot of use. You put, you know, yeah. almost a thousand hours a year on each one of these tractors. Cause right. It has three seasons of grain carting and uh, harvesting and then uh, disking in the fall and deep ripping, so it, it's definitely well used. And I think it costs about not much more money to trade this tractor than it does an ADAR, which is it's surprising so, to me that this tractor is so much more expensive, but it's honestly not much difference in trading value. Well, when you, when you look on John Deere's website at the price, the list price of some of these tractors, it's scary. amazing. It's that, scary. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got a mighty nice house here that you're, <laughs> yeah, that you're riding around That's in right. each day. Well, I appreciate the ride along. It's always exciting to um, 
get to see the planter tractors and you'll be harvesting wheat in uh, early June. And yeah, we're, uh, they're actually talking about, we gotta spray fungicide next week. So I'll get out of this and get in, get back in the sprayer. It's sure. never ending. <laughs> and you gotta spray the corn and yep. mow some hay and cut some wheat. Yeah, it all happens pretty fast. Well, I'll be excited to see the new S790s because we've got the 75th anniversary editions and yeah. that'll be pretty cool to see. Yeah, I saw them up there at the dealer. They're, I think they're ready. Ready to go get them. Well, we'll look forward to Matt um, in that 790 and then he'll be out here in probably very late August, early September harvesting this corn that's going in the ground. NT designation in the 1775 NT model number stands for narrow transport. When it's time to move this 60 foot wide corn planter from one field to another, it folds up to a narrow 12 feet wide. That's the same width as a four row corn planter. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing this new model year 2022 John Deere 1775 NT 24 row corn planter at work. I'd like to hear in the comment section below the video if you raise corn on your farm tell me about the brand of corn planter that you run and how many rows it plants. If you've enjoyed the video consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional corn planting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.